Hi there, this is Brad from Brad and Hall back with you again. I'm uh, standing in front of this 2003 Monica Windsor and we just got it done. The uh, customers are here getting ready to pick it up and it's looking really nice. I want to take you inside and show you what we did. We actually did a flooring job. Uh, we also did some MCD shades, some new balances, and put a couple new flat screen TVs in. So come on in, I'll show you what we did. All right, here we go. As you can see here, we redid the step well. We always used to do a new surround, new carpet in the step well, new treads, and we also put down some new, uh, just little carpets to cover the treads, and they're done with an anti-skid rubber on the back. We also did a couple extra carpets for up front, one for the driver's mat, a little entry mat for you coming in, wipe the dog's feet off, or whatever you got to do. So let me show you, this is, uh, this is what it looks like. We had tile in here, and we had some carpet, and we tore all that out. We put down this real nice laminate. This is uh, called Scarlet Maple, and it looks really nice with cherry. I don't know if you can see that, but it ties a lot of the colors in. If you look down here, we trim everything out in a solid cherry trim. Guys are getting really good at that. We got it to match. We have Amish guys that do our staining. You can see how nice that trim matches. Matches the cabinets real good. It's that little quarter round right down there. So you can see that. So in here we did a new carpet. They wanted to go with a little darker carpet just to hide the dirt and stuff. Weren't real sure about going this dark, but I think it came out really nice. We did the carpet around the bed. We also did back here the engine cover. And we also recarpeted the inside of the closet. So let me show you this here. What we did, we took out the old tube TV and we put in a new flat screen. They want a little storage underneath, so we put the uh, built a little cabinet and built a new face trim plate. It came out and, and cherry came out to match almost exactly. It looks really good. And we've got a uh, Samsung VCR DVD player that they had that we put back in here. So I've got that. Show you that. You can see over here we put the new MCD shades in. We got them over there. Got both a day and night shade. Over here I've got the day screen down. I'll bring this down just a little bit further for you so you can see. Now during the daytime with these lights off, we were outside. I could see outside, but nobody. I'll turn this light off so you can see. I can see outside, but we're inside the building still. Nobody can see inside. It really cuts down on the heat. And here's your nightshade. Comes down, looks real nice, doesn't it? Complete blackout. Nice on those afternoons where it's real sunny and you just want to take a little nap. So that's that. Come on up here. You can see we recarpeted the slide. That came out real nice. We didn't put the couch back in because I think we're going to do a, uh, a desk and a recliner here. But we did MCD shades all throughout here. Over in the kitchen, we got a cut set over there. Here in the slide out. This is our existing couch and captain's chairs. They're still in real nice shape, so we put those back in. And here's what we did up here. We actually took the TV cabinet and we cut this back, put in a real nice 32 inch Vizio LCD. Had to make a little panel for the ceiling out of cherry to match uh, to cover up the old marks from the, uh, the old TV cabinet. It was sticking about four, uh, probably five, six inches out further. We also cut down the cabinet in the back right there so that we can put an MCD shade across here. We've got the MCD windshield shade going all the way across. And we also did some really nice cherry valances to match. Now some people do these MCD shades and they just put up uh, vinyl covered boards. Those are okay, but you know, if you've got a nice coach like this, might as well dress it up with something that's gonna match real good. We don't usually come to the end like this, but this one we had to because the window frame was actually goes beyond the cabinets. There's a few Monaco models that they did that, so we had to notch it, but it still looks really nice. came out really nice. Over here, we didn't have that problem. The cabinet's just a little bit longer on this side, so you can see you got the nice cherry arms coming down. That kind of hides any light from coming in from the side when you have the shades down. So, that's it. We also hooked up the surround sound system, installed a new surround speaker underneath there that wouldn't hang down so far. It's just a flush mount one, that little black thing you can see there. And that's about it. Give you one more look here. We also did a couple extra rugs. We did a nice little rug here in front of the kitchen. These are always done with it. We bind these, and then we have an anti-skid rubber put on the back. We got a guy that does all kinds of boat carpets that does these for us. He does a real nice job on these. So we got that. I'll put a little one back here. And that's it. So if we can do anything for you at Braddon Hall, Please give us a call. We definitely like to give attention to detail and make sure everything looks really good. 
So you can imagine what this looked like when I took all we took all the tile out and there was dust everywhere. We do put up plastic, but you still get dust everywhere. There was tile all through the bathroom, all the way up through here. So and then we also put down slide out slickers. You don't see them right now, but we put these down when you bring the slide in so they don't the slide doesn't scratch the floor. So thanks for stopping by Braddon Hall. You can check us out on the web at www.braddonhall.com. Thank you.